In this video, we're going to be breaking down how J Wall runs the best trips tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never seen a video that I've done, my channel is all about getting better at Madden 21. And so we do that through tips and strategies every single day here on YouTube. And so I just want to encourage you, if you have not subscribed to the channel, it's completely free to subscribe to. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And I want to thank you for checking out this video. We're going to dive right in here. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to where J-Wall had the ball. Um, and J-Wall ends up, you know, obviously Fancy runs a similar offense, pretty much the same offense. Um, I've got the Raiders playbook loaded up here on my um, on my system, and we're going to be taking a look at this a little bit. But this setup I thought was really, really, really good out of the X spot play. And really, J-Wall obviously used playmakers. Everybody really did in this tournament. But I'm going to give you two in particular setups that I really, really thought um, were super, super effective from J-Wall. Now, one of them does require um, a slot apprentice, which I don't have on my uh, on my screen right here for you. Um, with Hot Route Master that he does have uh, Rich Gannon with Hot Route Master, but I'm going to give you kind of a setup that is similar uh, that you can really, really leverage, I think, a lot uh, in terms of how it, how it really plays. So let's just jump over to practice one and dive right in here. So the first thing that I want to talk about is really the biggest struggle with trips, or the biggest struggle right now in the Madden community is how do you beat man coverage, right? How do you beat man coverage? Everybody's asking that question. What j -Wall was able to do was able to figure out a way that he could beat man coverage out of X spot. So the plays we're going to be going over today are X spot, and we're going to be going over the PA shot post. Now, uh, what you're going to notice here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come out in um, just some nickel three three five. A lot of people are running this, and uh, we're going to just use this defense right here real quick. So all we're going to do is we're going to put the Mike Blitz three in there, and then we'll just basically roll with it just like this. Um, but man coverage, right? So everybody's running man coverage right now in the Madden community because it's really, really good. What J Wall was able to do from this play X spot, this was kind of his base setup that he used um, really from X spot, was essentially a curl flat concept. So he had two drags, he had his curl flat concept, and then he had his post route. Now he could have had that post route from here. He could have also had it from the outside receiver. So either one of those guys could be on a post. And then really, typically, J Wall was one of those guys that liked to send five out. And what you'll notice with this post route, whenever you motion it, he's going to automatically get inside position when he comes back across the bot, when he comes back across the formation. So let me show you kind of what that looks like. So again, uh, I'm going to audible here to X spot, drag both the inside guys, and then basically create this little um, coverage right here. And what you'll see is, especially against zone coverage, like this is a very, very good setup against zone. Um, it, trips tight end needs no help beating man coverage or uh, zone coverage uh if you can't if you can beat man coverage from trips tight end it is the best offense probably in madden right now with the exception of maybe the bunch tight end just because the bunch tight end i think has a little bit better um ability to protect out of pass protection but as you can see right here this this route concepts uh is, is just really simple it, it really truly uh it's it's a simple route one of these two drags um for j wall would have playmaker on them and so the reason that that would matter is because if they have playmaker on those drag routes he can basically playmaker one of those drag routes to get separation against man-to-man -man coverage if they you know if they if they didn't get it on their own most of the time these drags got separation on their own and then you're running this offense in regs they will typically get separation on their own as well now the next setup i want to go over with you is really i think his best setup that he had um and and really the way that you would do this is essentially this was uh, an, another way that he would run this x spot play and this was really for kind of off of this pa counter go so from pa counter go or not pa counter go i'm sorry pa shot post from pa shot post what you'll notice is as you can see right here i have these two reads now what j wall would do is he would put this receiver on an out and up or this one either one of these two slot receivers right and then he would have a basically a drag right underneath so it would look something like this 
right? Essentially like this with a max protect. You could might have had a crossing route to the tight end or something, but this was the gist of what it was. And then we would take this receiver, Adams, motion him to the right on an out and up. Now, since I don't have the out and up, I'm going to put him on just a fade motion. Fade against press man uh, would typically get outside release. And if you have a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, you can see right there that this is a very effective concept even if they have a safety cut, even if they have safety help, something that a lot of people don't realize is that if you have a good quarterback like an Aaron Rodgers that can put the ball wherever you want it to go, and you motion over, um, and you motion over this this streak or fade route right here, like this is really really effective. I mean, you literally see just get him out to the numbers, kind of snap him as he starts, and you see their instant separation. Click on, and you can kind of get that swerve catch animation going. Now, the next thing that I want to share with you, though, is really the more important piece, which is how this does against press man with that S post route. That S post route is so important to J. Wall's offense. It's so important to any offense. And basically, he would smart route that S post, right? And then he would obviously have his routes, his underneath routes here. And basically, what you'll see here is this S post, as long as he gets off the jam, will almost always beat man coverage. Now, if I were smart, I would have put Devontae Adams in that position because I don't have Devontae Adams in that position. He might, you know, Valdez Scantling's not going to do as good of a job, but he'll be okay. And, you know, again, this is going to set up other routes later on in, in the offense. So uh, you can leave this crossing route to Tavon Austin if you wanted to. You could leave that crossing route, uh, especially if you don't have, like, a route chemistry or anything like that. That might be worth having. But as you can see, that as Scantling, as long as he doesn't drop the ball, which he has dropped the ball twice for me, um, he will get wide open and have, you know, very easy, um, you know, a very easy window to be able to throw the ball. Now, if you leave the wheel route on the field, um, one thing people don't realize is that wheel route will pull, uh, will pull some space. And you could also obviously drag Adams if you wanted to. There's a lot that you could kind of do off of this. But really, this low point pass, there it is right there to Valdez Scantling, does a really, really good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. So now let's fast forward and say, okay, he starts to establish that and people start to know that j is going to do this against man-to-man -man coverage. Well, now Fancy is going to make a decision. He's going to put this left side corner or left side safety in man coverage onto the, onto the, to the route. So now this is where, in, in, in my opinion, what I would do is I would go to this PA counter go play or PA shot post. Either one of these two plays, you could either one of them. You could do it out of either one. PA shot post, you keep the same motion, okay? But basically, all you're going to do is you're going to put Valdez Scantling on a fade route, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your your running backs going on a block and release. Your tight end, what I would do is put him on a streak, and then Devonte Adams, I would put him on a curl. Okay, that's just what I would do. Uh, put him on a hitch or put him on a curl, and just motion him to the right side. And now what you'll see is if they're playing deep safety help, then they don't have anybody over the top to take care of that route to Valdez Scantling. So if he beats the press, and j Wall did this against Pavin, if he beats the press, you have a one-play touchdown. Now you can also do this same setup out of the X-spot play, which I'll get to in a minute. But this is how you can do this from this right here and basically keep the same exact look. But now what you've done is now you've created a natural... Um, just a natural progression. I mean, just, you know, if it doesn't work out, you can always take your curl route on the backside. You can hit your crossing route from Tavon Austin across the formation. A lot that you can do. Now, the way J-Wall would do it is he would do it from this right here. He would basically go into his playbook called X-Spot, fade that outside receiver, and then the tight end would typically be on a crossing route. Because I can't put the tight end on a crossing route, I'm just going to put double drags out there. Whoops, um, I'm just going to put put uh, put double drags out there. So I grabbed the wrong guy. So again, you see here, it's the same, you know, now it's a little bit of a different motion. That's the one issue with it. But you have your double drags, and now this looks exactly like the X-Spot setup. Get him out there wide, and now as you can see here, now you have reads underneath that deep blue, as you can see. So j -Wo was brilliant at this, this window dressing, this making plays look the same but go in different directions. I thought that was really, really sharp by him. I thought it was really effective. And if you actually, you know, again, an another way you could have, he could have done this, right? Um, because again, they got to move that that safety. Another way he could have done this was from double sale, 
right? He could have done it from this. And essentially what he would have done was basically Vada Scantling would go on a drag. Tavon would be in motion coming from right to left. Now he's on a streak. This is another version that he could have used to get, because you see here, if there, there's no safety over the top, now I can hit that corner out on that left side. So this strip side in is insane. Um, he ran it the best that I've seen anybody run trips all season, all season long. Just simple, simple, but very effective. And if you want to get my full trips tight end scheme that I broke down, um, that doesn't just cover trips, but it covers the entire New England Patriots offensive playbook, that link is in the description of this video. You can pick it up right now. If you'd like a free sample of my trips tight end, um, it's basically an hour long sample. That video is in my text message membership. So all you got to do to pick that up is just text me. My phone number is eight one two. 216-3644. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And again, if you want to get that full uh, New England offensive ebook, in my opinion, it's the best playbook in Madden 21 uh, on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, it's in the description of this video for you. And we'll see you tonight on stream at 10 p.m. Eastern time.